Okay, y'all, so check it out. Grammy Award-winning jazz artist Robert Clasper didn't hold back when it came to offering his thoughts on fellow musician Lauryn Hill. First of all, before these she even came in, my the MD, my friend, was like, just so you know, don't look her in the eye. Call her Miss Hill. So these be rumors be true? Like That's 100% true. She couldn't tune her guitar in rehearsal. She would come in rehearsal and say, Benji, guitar. And just hold it out like this. He would run and turn the guitar. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, no more stories. During an interview with Houston's 97.9 The Box this week, Glasper was specifically asked how he deals with egotistical hard personalities. From there, he unleashed some alleged shady intel on the chronically tardy singer. Glasper first recalled having his pay cut in half the day before he was set to perform with Hill at a show the singer was raking in half a million dollars for. So we rehearse a whole week, like 10 hours a day. Every day she comes in and changes the show, changes what she wants to do. Completely? Completely. We're like, okay, so, you know. Anyway, the last rehearsal, she doesn't show up. Her manager shows up and says, Lauren's not really feeling the way you guys have been learning the music, so we're going to cut your pay in half. The last rehearsal, wow. the day before the show, we're going to cut your pay in half. Wow. First of all, we won't get paid that much anyway, <laughs> but understand she's getting half a million dollars. Yeah. So seriously, you're going to take these five musicians and cut their pay in half? The bombshells continued during the interview, with Glasper claiming that Hill stole music featured on the miseducation of Lauren Hill from fellow artists he considers friends. Especially when you've already stolen all of my friends' music. Miseducation was made by great musicians and producers oh, that I know. Oh, Lord. Personally. Don't Go ahead, what you talking about? Let us speak. You know what I mean? Oh, I want to know more. Oh, Lord. Like you got a big hand off oh, of music that you didn't even write. Oh. You feel me, though? You got hey, a big Robert, you know she going to hear this. 100%. This. <laughs> okay. I can hear less. This show is known for getting people. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't oh, care. Oh, my goodness. Because nothing. I'm saying is a lie. Point the lie. Point to me where the lie is, then we can have a conversation. Glasper concluded his thoughts on the singer by stating that if Stevie Wonder, Quincy Jones, and Herbie Hancock are all cool people, then Lauryn Hill should be able to be cool. I've met Stevie Wonder and hung out with Stevie. I've met Quincy Jones, hung out with Quincy Jones. I've met Herbie Hancock, hung out with Herbie Hancock. It's if great. those three people can be cool, Lauren Hill should be able to be cool. So what do you guys think? Do you believe Lauren Hill wrote all those classics on her debut album? Or were they, in fact, stolen songs she didn't get the right credit for? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to keep updated on our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it locked to HipHopVX.com.